Welcome again to Channel 48. My name is Puck from Groningen, the Netherlands. Well, yesterday I, I, I released the beautiful Lindroid OS version 5.1 32-bit system. And uh, I said that I would share it at 50 likes. And I just checked and I saw 34 likes already. And zero dislikes. So, yeah, I was kind of thinking then. Um, if I'm gonna create another video from the inside a long video we're gonna do lots of things I'm gonna show you lots of tricks that you will be able to do with Lindroid um, with Ubuntu Lindroid we must say it the right way yeah? Ubuntu Lindroid very important because this is all done on Ubuntu playground and Ubuntu will also be responsible for, for, for updating your system for this coming years. That will not be me, you know, so that will be Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is very, very important to, to, to. So it's Ubuntu Lindroid OS, very important. I was thinking that the likes of what this video will get today, plus the likes from what the previous video of yesterday got, if they will be like 70 you know if the same 34 people uh, will leave this video again a like then I think tonight I will put out the 32-bit version as well the 64-bit version that I will finish in this video while during making this video I'm also rendering uh, the 64-bit system that today I created uh, and it looks just like the 32-bit. Only difference with the 64-bit is that you will have to do uh, two downloads. Uh, one download will be, of course, the distro. And another download will be uh, the Android that you yourself will have to put in your documents folder. Okay, whenever you already installed Lindroid OS. Very important. And then... Um, you will be able to activate that Android that was already pushed into to the system of 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 of, um, of the distro. So only thing that you will have to do is download that file. Yeah, whenever you installed Lindroid OS, you install Lindroid OS. You grab that second download, put it into your download folder, and then go into the terminal and type the lines that you will have to type to activate the Android and whenever you boot up the next time uh, after seeing the screen of your your computer logo whatever it's showing it will then continue hit escape on your keyboard and then you will be brought into a menu and then suddenly you will have dual boot Android Android uh, CM13 in the 64-bit case uh, and then you can boot straight up from that CM13 and you will have a fully working Android. Why CM13? Well, uh, normally I have these Androids already in the distro, so you don't have to download anything, it's already there. But the 64-bit of Ubuntu 18, 18.04, that is the latest version of Ubuntu 64-bit that I did this on, is, is getting so huge and I, I exceed the, the size of, of effect. Uh, the ISO, you know, ISO must be uh, within, I think, 4.2 gigabytes or so, something like that. And if you exceed that size, then you have no ISO anymore. You can create the ISO, but it will not work like an ISO. You cannot create a bootable USB from that. You know, if you're gonna just rename it to ISO, it's creating a different file. So um, I had to stay under that size. So that's why the 64-bit versions will have two downloads and the 32-bit uh, versions will have one download, okay? That is more you don't need to know. The rest is to understand how to install it and how to create the partitions with all the tools 
that I already included in the live distro. So whenever you boot live, you will have gparted to, to, to fix uh, the partitions. Uh, you will have uh, the installer, of course, uh, from system back to then go into. Uh, you must watch the videos how to, you know, install my distros, uh, Lindroid OS, Linux, and all these distros that I create. They are all being installed the same way. Let's go into the computer. We're going to jump literally into the Mac and uh, I'm going to take over from there. Okie doke, there we are. Welcome in the Mac. This is an iMac, a pretty old one. <clears throat> it's an iMac from, uh, I think, 2006, I think it was. It's a very old one. Uh, let me show you the system monitor. And here you can see it. Um, it's having the T2400 processor. It's a very old processor. You see that? It's an i686. That means 32-bit system. Okay. And it's dealing really nice with all the processes and it's very very stable as you can see and as you can hear my voice is not breaking up or whatsoever and that for such an old machine hmm? so what's so cool about this operating system well it uh, it's Linux and it looks amazing I don't see many operating systems that look so so beautiful and have such great tools pre-installed already. I updated uh, certain things such as uh, the rhythm box. I thought let me update that a little bit for you guys because I wanted to have even more stations in rhythm box. So I added the radio browser and there it is and you should also have it. And here you hear that the music is playing instantly and uh, really it's uh, amazing great sound launch jazz and uh, BBC radio etc so the list got a bit bigger you have more stations now to listen to okay so this list is effect extended by this one soundcloud however got a problem because if i'm gonna search for something boom it quits so um what i will do i will just disable that plug in so we don't even know that it's there because that one got uh, that one got messed up in some way I don't know what I did I did something probably I don't know but hey the radio browser list is in here and that's great right and to give an extension to this and uh, even more power I got stream tuner stream tuner number two so let's pop it open and let me show you what it is this is it um, you will have internet radios with all sorts of styles and as you can see uh, internet radio effect is not showing anything Jamendo, Jamendo is showing is loading fine Amazing, huh? So you have a whole lot of music, you know, dancehall, reggae. And I think you can even save this or so, or you can record it, I think. And... Let me see, can we record it? Oh, you see that? You can record and how to stop. I don't know. I hope it stopped. I think you must stop it here. 
No. Oh gosh. How do we stop that? Escape? Look at that. Skipping. Oh, it's skipping. Okay. So I'm not sure what is happening now. I don't think anything is happening. So you can uh, rip the strings. <laughs> I think many people will love this, especially young people. They will love this, this here. So remember it, Jamendo. We have uh, my OGG radio as well, available with lots of German uh, stuff I can see here. And others, oh, you cannot listen to them all. Don't get crazy, promise me not to get crazy. Just find one station and chill with that station. But find the ones that, you know, gives you the nicest uh, feeling. We even have Tune In, Tune In Radio as well, available. This is crazy, this, these listings. These are crazy listings. So everything kind of plays. Sometimes you find something that is not playing. NPO Funk X. This is really cool station. So, for instance, if you're playing something and uh, you want to record it, yeah, but without uh, using the microphone, but the internal, then what you will have to do is go to sound preferences and you go to input. As you can see here, it's set to microphone, but then just select monitor of built-in audio analog stereo. That means the monitor of your sound card, okay? So I'm using this sound card now at this moment. The hardware, my hardware is this sound card, the analog audio controller output. You see this one here I'm using. And the input is now set to microphone. But if I set it to here, uh, to monitor, then my sound, my voice will not record anymore. So you won't hear me anymore. But you will be actually uh, recording uh, whatever is playing in the highest possible quality uh, to your audio recorder. And that could be, for instance, Cool Edit Pro. That's a Windows program. Okay. This is uh, one of my yeah old school Windows uh applications that software packages that I used to record my music as you all know I'm also a musician I'm a singer and uh, yeah I record my music for years already with cool edit pro even though there are other applications you see that now I'm recording my voice and if I'm gonna put it to here you won't hear me anymore I mean to here you see my voice is oh hold on input Hello. Okay, I must stop the recording first. Okay, let me record. Let me remove this. Okay, but if I set it to uh, to this controller for the input, okay, then whatever I'm gonna play here. Hello, 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 you see, it's not recording my voice anymore. So now it's recording only the music. But it was pretty soft. Why was that? Because you will have to put it a little bit louder on the player itself. And the player was already set to the max. Then probably you will have to put this a little bit more up like that. And let's try it again. So we're gonna just record, we can always cut that off again. So now we recorded, we, rec we recorded a part of the music. And I'm gonna show you that this is different than with the microphone. Oh, 
They don't hear me. <laughs> I was talking all the while, but <laughs> you could not hear me. <clears throat> what I was saying is, um, we we just made a recording with uh, from from of the sound card immediately to the recorder, and this is what we will have. And it is a little bit soft, but uh, that is not a problem. Just select the wave, amplify, and just give it a 10 dB boost. As long as you stay between these two outer lines, yeah, your your graphics then it's gonna be just fine so what you see here is yeah a possibility how to record each and everything that normally you could not get you can still record uh, record it to the computer just like a tape recorder you know so that's kind of cool huh? yeah so uh, of course that will also work for uh, for audacity in audacity it will be just the same let me show you that really fast Oh, the city that's here. In other city, it's the same thing. You don't have to change anything. Just leave it on default mic one, yeah, because it will do whatever the sound mixer is doing. Okay, so if the sound mixer effect is 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 uh, is, is is being set, yeah, the input of the sound sound has been set to monitor then this automatically will only receive whatever the monitor is receiving the monitor that this sound mixer was set to you understand so good so that's how you can make fantastic recordings of things that normally you could not be able to download or record you know of course this is for yourself and not to to do evil things um next that we have is of course of course as well cheese but that will not work we, you can create uh, photos and videos uh, with cheese it's a tool that was known for a very long time and it's back completely back in ubuntu because it, it works really nice it's just like photo boot uh, what we have in a mac but unfortunately here on this machine it's not uh, working because i have no device drivers installed but that's just fine with me because then I also don't have to cover up the camera. I don't like cameras that are looking at me 24-7. This is system back. It's saying install Android OS. It's just system back that I give a different icon, you know, so you can also, so we also have a sort of installer here. Click here to install, you know. So, um, yeah, that is that. Uh, let me see if that changes to, yeah, I cannot, in some way this, this icon keeps changing to, <laughs> So I don't I don't put it there. You already know where to find it. Here it is. Install Android OS. Yeah, the little sexy uh, start menu. That's how it works. You can hide it away, so it's not in uh, in your way, and you will have a full desktop experience. Or put it back, or move it. You can do whatever you wish with it. You must stand here. And then you can move it everywhere you wish. You see that? Here in the corner. Not on here, but there in the corner. You see that? So, yeah. Um, I remove the arrows. And I can try to add them again. These here. But then it's going to be kind of challenging. To move it around you see that so um, yeah there we go so I'm not I'm, go I'm just gonna remove these and then you can just go here and then grab it and put it wherever you wish okay so yeah I think the arrows are maybe not such a good idea because they don't work so nice together with and sometimes they move the complete uh, yeah, start menu to here or to there, but that's kind of cool. Now we know how to put it back, so it's fine. It's also kind of very sexy, hmm? unpredictable. That's very nice. So, um, yeah, what more can you do? You can do many other little things. 
uh, screen recording is now done with uh, the screen recorder from Martin Bart. We have a fantastic uh, software store, software center. Um, error reporting, a port uh, was deleted out of the system, so you will never ever get these messages. Just like in Linux Mint, uh, you will not get these messages anymore, and you won't have to worry unless your name is Adam Curry. We have Synaptic Package Manager as well. It's very handy. I never understood it, but now I, I understand it so much better. You, this is just another app store, really. And you can only get in there with administrator rights, but you can find each and every tool that you will not find in, uh, in the software store. You will find it in here also tools that have really are connected to the system up here you can enable and disable them and you can do a whole lot of things in here i wouldn't do too much if you don't understand whatever you're doing here um yeah so this don't worry too much about this okay this is more for me that i can you know add packages or delete certain packages out of the system um, virtual DJ, I, I never showed it uh, from the inside yet. And Let me show that in a real nice way to you. So, here it is. Um, yeah, I don't have too much music on here, but uh, music just plays fine. Nice, huh? So that that works. I would not update it because uh, the update will not work here on here anymore. You can also make recordings. Uh, you can also set the auto DJ. If you want to know how to do all these things, uh, let me know. Then I will make a video how to do that. But if you have a bunch of songs and you want. Uh, uh, auto mix you know that has been mixed into one uh, automatically by by this fantastic DJ player and you also want to record it. it's really easy just hit record and uh, config here give uh, the recording a, a, a location and a, a name you know and uh, here you can choose to create WAF or mp3 I would go for mp3 set this one to 320 so you have the best recording quality and then you hit ok and then it's gonna auto start that means whenever you're gonna press play to let the recordings uh, I mean the mix uh, being performed then it will start automatically so that's kind of cool huh? so yeah you also have a yeah a, a auto DJ mixer built in okay uh, cool that you already saw that uh, this is just a simple application to create uh, simple note messages spoken messages record a little whatever sure. wine so you can install uh, Windows applications okay so if you're gonna get some exa file uh, open it with wine right mouse click and then open with select wine and then it will be opened and installed so yeah you can run windows applications as well so that's kind of cool that is more than cool so all credits and thumbs ups for that happening goes to of course the guys of wine and q wine you all there you are winners and amazing people for creating this so let it be well understood that this is very appreciated what you guys are doing and we love you very much for that thanks again so um what can we say more 
this is a beautiful system guys and you will only know whenever you're using it and installing it in some virtual thing yeah I don't do these kinds of things you see I don't uh, install virtual I always install onto computers I, I, I kind of don't like virtual box you know I don't like it because I never use it I always use real systems so yeah that's how I use my systems and if you're gonna create a system and you're really gonna actual install it uh, onto it then you're gonna know how good and how fine this all works and how fantastic it is to have everything in one system after install that you don't have to go ahead and install that all these things yourself uh, of course you can uh, go ahead and add the things that you still want to add and this warning message you should not even worry about okay only worry about this is you, if your name is Adam Curry if not don't worry okay it's just fine everything works good in add-ons you can download each and every add-on remember you can also get uh, music add-ons you can get the Apple iTunes podcast CBC radio just think of what you all can do with this system you will be spending hours and hours discovering this new beautiful operating system in fact it's, it's not new this is Ubuntu but I mean it's being presented in a different way and I just hope that I'm doing it right but I think I am because my feeling is is good about it you know I love how it reacts it does not embarrass me only just now for the little thing here that I could not get and it was moving like crazy I could not stop it but that has to do with the arrows so yeah if you want to hide this I would say right mouse click properties and then um, auto hide close and then it's gone you see that and then it will pop up and you will always have a full desktop but I in fact I like looking at it because I think it looks kind of kind of sexy so you know just like a beautiful woman I like looking at beautiful woman so hey what did you do you add this no 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 not these things auto hide yeah that was it so what more well if you got uh, this installed of course you're gonna right mouse click the time and go to preferences yeah and go to locations and remove my location and put in your own location just search for your location and put it in and then you're gonna have as well the weather displayed and here it's gonna say as well overcast you see that two degrees feels like uh, minus three four oh that's why it's so cold here in the studio mm -hmm. now I understand so yeah that's it um, I think the rest you will have to find out for yourself firewall is already set to on for you so you don't have to worry about that most things are already set the browser is uh, set to dark for you so you can also use this in a not so light environment that's my side there by the way if you click on there then you come to my YouTube so once in a while check out my new videos at this point it's opening Google because I referred back to Google after I found out that uh, DuckDuckGo was in fact secretly from uh, Amazon and yeah then I rather be with Google you see so uh, I went back to Google as well because I have all the possibilities here to go to my news and you know it's just a pain if you're using DuckDuckGo all these things are not available I need my news I need to find my news I need to you know and it's just fine Google already knows who I am so it's just fine but this is how it looks it's uh, all uh, oh I wanted to show the news to you how it would be to read the news so we also have a dark skinned uh, 
uh, Google for the search findings at least not all sites will so will show in black that plugin was not created yet I think that every website automatically gets converted to black because if we're gonna click this one then I think it will not be black you see that it's white so yeah that's it I love it I hope you too and now we're gonna go ahead and reboot the system and then I'm gonna show you the Android of course that will be recorded with my phone because I cannot you know this is not some virtual system this is a real computer with a real operating system so this is not some virtual box thing that you're looking at okay though so if I'm gonna reboot then this recording will be lost so I'm gonna say see you in the reboot Okay, so it's very important that after the five broken folders that you're gonna see, this is happening on an iMac, one, two, three, and now you hit escape, escape, and whenever you hit escape, you will get into this menu. And then it's just a matter of scrolling down and hit Android. That is after you uh, activated Android in, of course, Lindroid. And that is very easy. That will be a change directory to downloads. And then sudo alien space epistro sci. And then the name of whatever uh, this Android is called in your in your download folder and then just hit enter it will then ask you for a password this will only be possible after you installed Lindroid of course okay Ubuntu after you installed installed it and you're in the desktop you boot it up successfully after the install then you're gonna activate Android and then you're gonna get the automatic dual boot uh, in your system and the first time always takes a little bit and there we go and we just loaded Android it's loading a widget there and that's Google and there it loaded and as you can see uh, oh, Google Play service yeah has stopped that's because uh, I'm not gonna use it it's very annoying and I'm just gonna install my own apps as you can see Google Play service is stopping all the time and that is a bug Mr. Shin did not uh, really update this yet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to oh boy this is not my fault eh? we're gonna go to security and we go to device administrators and we turn that off and then uh, deactivate the device administrator okay and then you will be able to go to uh, applications go one back and in apps I can then disable something went wrong security device administrators mm. 
No. Cancel. Okay, this is good. It was still uh, activated, I saw. And now we can go to apps. Play surface. And we can disable it. And force stop it. And it will never ever annoy again that it crashed. Because it makes the system look so bad. And then, in fact, the only thing that you will have to do is you could download one of my mods. I can I can make a package with some applications such as uh, APK Pure Store and uh, you know these things, and then you can install each and every application uh, on here. Remember that this is uh, running with the full uh, memory of your of your system, so this is a very powerful Android that you're seeing here. Uh, I'm not connected because I have no driver, unfortunately. Um, my Wi-Fi driver is not turning on, so I'm, I need to use some some Wi-Fi stick to, to get this running. But on my other computer, I have no problem with it at all. Eh? The Wi-Fi is found and it works fine and, you know, but this one, I cannot turn it on, you see? And the Ethernet, yeah. I think Ethernet drivers are not being uh, delivered anymore. Such a waste should immediately be fixed and be. Uh, so they undo that and add these drivers again because these drivers, yeah, some people gonna use Android on a computer and some people just have a network card and then it would be nice if these drivers would also be installed because in version uh, Gingerbread x86 and KitKat, we, we did have Ethernet drivers, so why then and why not anymore? You see, so that is uh, the Android part. Uh, you can, of course, do all the things that you can do in your real Android as well. You can change uh, wallpapers, make it beautiful, make it the way you wish. I think this one is really nice, it makes me happy. And by clicking on the home, you get home again. Oh, this little bit crazy wallpaper, peeps. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Let's see if we can change that. Because that is not my uh, kind of wallpaper that I would like to see. How about this one? Set wallpaper as home screen. And then we must wait, probably. Oh. I don't know what these stripes are. That is probably bamboo look. This is the bamboo look. It looks amazing. If you just see it as the bamboo look, it looks great. But this is a problem with the launcher because uh, whenever you're gonna install another launcher, it will not show you this these stripes. Even though these stripes, they look good. Um, they should not be like this, okay? So that is a buggy, a buggy, buggy, buggy. Alternatively, um, no, you cannot. I will have to make a new build for that. I wanted to say, alternatively, you could also uh, install Android 8 Oreo, but that will not work, okay? Remember that YouTube also will not work anymore because we disabled the Google Play service and the applications. All right. So this will be for independent users, guys that uh, know where to get their applications and to to play with the system, you know. But yeah, this is just extra luxury for whenever you want to be in Android. If you have to do some things uh, in Android to reboot, simply hit the power button and hit power off. Don't hit reboot hit power off okay i know why i'm telling you this because if you're gonna hit reboot then um it will not reboot and it takes very long to turn off but that could also be because this is a mac okay this is not uh, the traditional x86 hardware that we're dealing with that linux is normally dealing with it's uh in fact, treating this system as an x86 uh, device. And 
that can here and there on a Mac, especially iMac, uh, have some yeah little buggies. Okay. Okay, we take a quick look at the 64-bit version that I'm uh, in fact uh, fixing for you all there. So this will be for the 64-bit users. It's uh, just the same. I did this today and um, in fact I had to delete several things out of the out of the installation because it would not uh, it would be too big result in way too big uh, ISO files that I cannot uh, deliver as an ISO and I want you to be able to create a bootable USB stick and then install it the normal way. Uh, you will have less applications, not a full office package. If you want that, you will have to download it yourself. I had no space for it anymore. Um, in audio, we only have Kodi, Rhythmbox, and of course, Team Tuner. I also brought that, uh, adapted it in the 64-bit version. So you have hundreds, maybe thousands of radio stations worldwide uh, at your, you know, at your feet. Uh, Q for Wine to install Windows applications. Uh, Windows applications that are installed are uh, Virtual DJ again, of course, Cool Edit Pro again, um, and a very beautiful music player. It's the Pioneer music player, and I'm not sure if it's gonna open because it's very busy with other things now. It's creating the ISO file. So, yeah. That's what we're doing here on the background peeps and uh, yeah, you see that I put a lot of time in this all. So yeah, when I ask you to leave a like for the project, if you did like it, of course, it's also to, yeah, to bring more inspiration because if I see that you guys don't like it, then why should I create it, right? Or why should I even talk about it? So, yeah, this is the Pioneer, um, your music player. Uh, this is something that you will not find in Linux because it was created for Windows. And, um, yeah, it's a great player that you can use to listen to your music. And up here by right mouse click, clicking anywhere in the, in the player, you can add music. Just go to the player, right mouse click. It's very busy now. It's it's as it, it's converting uh, and creating the ISO file at this moment. But here you can add files, uh, a music, a complete playlist, and then it's gonna play from here. Okay, I think that's kind of cool. This is a very cool player. We don't see this uh, this these kinds of arts yet in linux world but hey that's not a problem is it is it not just great to uh, to be able to run a windows application right okay so it's not really listening too good now because it's very busy here you can see process 4 so we're almost there the 64 bit is almost done and uh, you see it happened what i told you The turning off and rebooting back resulted in a black screen that stopped, but that will only be a problem uh, that iMac users will have, okay? So yeah, if you're not having an iMac, if you're gonna install this on a normal x86 device, then, then this will totally be no problem for you. And here it's just gonna boot straight into Lindroid. So that's it. I think I showed more than enough to inspire you. So the likes of this video and the likes of the previous video, I will count them all together. Okay, so we don't have to wait for people to give even more likes you know, I think 33 shows, yeah, that a nice little group of people that they want this. 
you know, and that they like it, that they support it, and that is great. That also gives me a great uh, inspiration to continue whatever I'm doing. Okay. And it's worlds only, and it's it's just beautiful, as you can see. It's amazingly beautiful. And the coolest is that the 64-bit looks just the same, only uh, with the 64-bit, the people will have to download the Android version themselves, and they will have to install CM13 and not CM14. So the 32-bit world will have something extra that the 64-bit that already has so much and the support and everything won't have in the distro but of course they will get it and soon i will make a new build for 64 bit that will include android 8 but i must be very 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 careful not to uh, not to install too many things so you don't get a system that is not possible to be installed or shared like an ISO file and there we are we're almost there I think we're there already and our goal is 4.1 gigabyte or something in 3 point something gigabytes how much is it yes we succeeded okay so um, the 64 bit is as well done I'm gonna delete this one this one can be the deleted okay and this is the 64 bit created on the 18th in fact today is not 18 today is what is the date today oh there is the date today is 20 the other one was created on the 18th okay but that is not a problem that's my and your secret. Nobody have to know. Okay, so the ISO is done for the 64-bit guys. So 64-bit is as well done and uh, is will as well be available uh, for you all. That was a very, very, very long video. But as you could see, it works. Uh, also, the Android works, even though it gives a little bit of uh, crazy, uh, yeah. It does not want to be turned off. It wants to stay on all the time. I don't know, this is probably the Mac. But you won't have that uh, because I also don't have it on the normal x86 systems that I'm installing these distros on before I, I give them to you. That's why it also takes a little bit of time. You know, I must test whatever I create first. And then when I test it and I think it's good, you know, then I release it. Next thing that you need to know, version 5.2 is the 64-bit version and uh, 5.1 is the 32-bit version. I think I explained more than I had to explain. This video is way too long, but it was a good one and I enjoyed creating it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If so, leave this video a like. Uh, I already said it, you know. 34 likes 34 30 likes on this video then these likes of the previous video and this one they will be more than enough uh, to let you guys get the link um, and the information how to get it uh, will be especially for you you guys out there uh, that left the video a like and that in fact also support this project thanks again